Hello everyone, my name is Rahul and welcome to my channel Rahul QA Labs. So in today's tutorial, we will learn how uh, we can add test runs in the test logs and how we can uh, execute the test cases. Okay, so in order to add a test run, the most important prerequisite is uh, you must have created the test suits and the cases. So uh, if they are not created, there is no point of adding a test run. <laughs> okay. So to define test run, test runs are nothing but uh, they are the collections of one or more test suits. So you can add the test suit uh, to a test run. And in the test run, uh, what testers do is they mainly verify each of the test cases and they can mark them either they can be passed or they can be failed or they can skip it. So if it is a failed test case, that means you have found some bug. So we can report a bug uh, in, in the bug tracking tool and we can integrate that uh, uh, with test lodge so that uh, all the bugs are uh, reflected uh, next to the test cases. And uh, you can record the uh, actual results as compared to the expected results. Okay. Another thing is test lodge allows you to uh, set the different configurations for your test cases. For example, if you have to run a test case on three different browsers like uh, Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox or uh, a Safari or if you want to run your test case on different operating systems like uh, Android, Mac OS, Windows. So those kind of test configurations are given by test lodge and you don't need to create your uh, test suits again and again. You can do the configuration there only uh, in the test runs and you can execute your uh, cases. So let us see how we can add uh, test runs in test lodge. Uh, let's log into our application. Select the project. Okay. So see, uh, we have a test plan, we have requirements, we have test suits. So test suit, as I said, uh, that is the primary requirement for uh, creating a test run. So let us see how we can create a test run. Go to the right hand side top uh, plus sign that is green in color and click on new test run. Okay, so give the name of the test run. Suppose run one and attach the test plan. Okay, now uh, you have to select the test suits and cases that you want to uh, execute as a part of this particular test run. So we don't have any test suits that have been selected. Let us select this. Click on select test cases and test suits. Okay, so see, there are two tabs here, test suits and test cases. Okay, so whichever you want to add, you want to add normal uh, like uh, individual test cases, you can add that. You want to directly add a test suit, you can add that as well. For adding a test suit, click on this tick mark and click on selected tests. Okay, so see this test suit is added into this particular test run. Now if you click on close, so you can see here test suit, retail test suit one, number of test cases one and uh, configurations we haven't done as of now. So uh, as of now, we just have added uh, a test suit into the test run. So this is how you can add a test suit. Now, say for example, you want to add test cases. So for that, you have to go to test cases tab. You can click here and you can add those particular test case into that particular test run. But since we have already added uh, this test suit, which already comprises of this test case. So that is why it is showing you as checked. Fine. Okay, so this is how we can add uh, suits or cases into a test run. Now, uh, the point that is test configuration. Let us see uh, what is this test configuration. It is saying as zero selected. We click on this. Okay, so this is the configurations tab that it is uh, showing to you. And uh, these are the operating systems and these are the different web browsers you uh, can add for this particular test suit. So as I told you, like configuration means uh, if same test case you want to run on different OSs, for example, Linux, Mac OS, MS Windows, and if you want to add on all the browsers, Chrome, Firefox, IE, Opera, Safari. So just you can select all of them and you can click on 
close okay so see earlier it was zero right so now it is showing as 15 selected so this particular test suit will be run on this particular configuration with all the uh, os options and the browser options so that is how we can configure the uh, test config thing okay now if you want to add a new test run you can uh, like uh, same uh, you can click on new test run or so this part is completed right now just click on add test run fine so this is the test run one uh, dashboard it is showing you all summary so 15 uh, test cases they are in no run statuses or not run statuses and these are different options uh, like combinations chrome mac os chrome linux chrome ms windows okay so some of them may be irrelevant because uh, we have selected all the options you can uh, select as per your convenience but it has generated different combinations of those configurations okay total 15 test cases 0 percent completed okay and coming to next tab these are the assigned people tab so to whom these test cases have assigned uh, we have not assigned uh, any of the test cases to this test run i mean the people uh, to this test run so we will do that we will see in the later tutorials and coming to next one we have the individual cases now these are the different individual cases which uh, test lodge has generated for you okay so different combinations chrome mac see see all the details everything is present everything is generated so you no need to write uh, that login test case for all the combinations just write for one so, uh, change the configuration and you can generate all the test cases for different combinations if you want to edit again the same like click on these three dots edit or if you want to remove the test you can remove the test as well so that is how you can add uh, a test run in the project in test lodge now coming to our last part that is how you can run so there is a button here run all tests click on this okay so see it has opened uh, this uh, running all uh, remaining test page it is showing you all the title description steps uh, the associated requirement now after testing this whatever is your actual result or comment you can add it here and if you want to paste the screenshots as well you can just paste it out here okay and you can click on pass fail or skip say for example uh, this is uh, suppose working as expected okay so we have given the actual result and comments uh, you can add the file or if you don't want you it's not required it's up to you just click on pass okay so see initially there were 15 test cases now we have 14 so one test cases we have passed so this is how you can uh, uh, keep on executing the test case and keep on giving the actual result and comments and uh, these statuses like pass fail or skip okay so see as soon as i uh, passed one test case this uh, report changed okay so now we have 14 in no run one is passed we have zero failed skipped now suppose this one i will fail not working as expected and i will fail okay so see this thing is changed so this is how you can do the execution of the uh, test runs back to summary this is the summary okay and this is the graphical representation i hope this is uh, clear to you all if you have any doubts you can put a comment and i'll be happy to answer your questions thank you very much for watching my video and if you like the video do subscribe my channel and share with the other people as well till then bye bye take care